know, I wouldn't wish that burn accident on my worst enemy, but to be able to get through this and learn so much has given me a tremendous amount of strength. So I was jumping a flaming jump rope, not a smart idea, but very common in Thailand. The rope wrapped around my legs and ignited my body completely on fire to my neck. Just looking down, um, the photos I have are pretty graphic of just like no skin on my legs at all was not just heart-wrenching, but so, so, so painful. The body just needs so much energy and protein to actually regrow that skin. So most of that time in the Thai hospital was to, like doctor would come and be like, okay, I'll come back in a couple weeks and see if your skin's grown more. I was in such a negative headspace at this point. I was like, what are you talking about? Like life as I know it is over, but really, it, uh, she inspired me to set a goal, and the goal I set in there, I said, all right, well then one day I wanna race a triathlon. I wanna be not just walking again, but I wanna be strong enough to swim and bike and run. And so I set that goal in the Thai hospital um, and kind of worked towards that, even though it was many months till I would even take my first step. As humans, we have just reservoirs of untapped potential inside of us. Like, what would have happened had my mom not forced me to look towards the future and set that measurable goal? Seven Summits is the tallest mountain on each um, continent. So Antarctica is Mount Vincent, South America is Aconcagua, Kilimanjaro is Africa, the Australia uh, Oceanic continent is Kosciuszko and Karsten's Pyramid, Europe is Elbrus, Asia of course is Mount Everest, North America is Denali. And not just did I want to complete it, but I wanted to be the fastest person to ever complete it. So taking no breaks in between, just mountain to mountain to mountain to mountain. I carry this rock with me every single day in my pocket and this is a rock from the summit of Mount Everest and this rock for me is a personal reminder of kind of that moment I chose to keep pushing forward in that Thai hospital and not give up but also I carry this rock and share this with people as a reminder that even Mount Everest even the biggest mountain in the world the biggest goal you can set can be broken down to a bunch of small parts a bunch of small rocks stacked on top of each other It built, you know, this this movement around, you know, kids and public school kids really having an eye into this project and sharing with us their Mount Everest. You know, they were you know, using the kind of this metaphor of like, what's your Everest? And they're saying, you know, my Mount Everest is to be the first person in my family to graduate from college. Um, all these amazing things that young people were sharing with us. So really, it was it was nice to have the personal achievement, but actually the larger sort of platform around it, what was really inspiring to me, um, and it continues to inspire to this day. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm only human, and that negative voice is, is strong in my mind at times. I've learned how to control that, I've learned how to shift my mindset towards the positive, but there are, certainly, when it's minus 40 degrees and the wind's blowing, your tent's rattling, and you're middle of nowhere, and in this case, in Antarctica, I'll be completely alone for 70 days. Um, I can only imagine the, the mindset and the ups and downs that I'll go through. It's, it's not always about one-upping myself or finding the next world record to set. For me, it's really about um, expressing myself in this world in a way that's authentic and meaningful to me. Hopefully by doing something like this in such a public way, people are like, oh, maybe I can, you know, go after and chase that dream that I had in my life. Maybe I can create something um, special and remarkable in this world. And I think that's as, as humans, as we do that, as we create, as we innovate, as we dream big, um, it impacts all of us in such a positive way in the world. Mm -hmm.